From the giant planes made by Airbus and Boeing to the private jets used by the rich and famous and even military fighter jets, these aircraft all cost a lot of money. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 15 most valuable aircraft in the world. Number 15. Airbus A340-300 if you'd like to own the first plane on our list, then you had better be a billionaire because it comes with a nasty price tag of $500 million. The Airbus A340-300 isn't screwing around, and in fact, a proud owner of one of these models is the Russian billionaire Alisher Usmanov. While Usmanov has plenty of private jets to get him from A to B, his A340-300 is the choice plane when it comes to his long-haul journeys, with a max range of about 8,500 miles. And the thing about this plane is that while it may belong to one man, it's still an Airbus, so this thing is huge. Despite the sheer amount of space, there may be only a handful of people on board at one time. It's the perfect private jet, because it feels like you have the entire place to yourself. This model's even bigger than Vladimir Putin's personal aircraft, and features some luxurious amenities like soft leather seats and multiple full-size bedrooms. And on top of the initial half-billion-dollar cost, Usmanov spent an additional $170 million on his to decorate it up to his standards. Number 14. Al-Walid's Airbus A380 Make no mistake, when it comes to luxury aircraft, Airbus does it right, and so their A380 is no exception. The Airbus A380 is the largest passenger aircraft ever made, and just so happens to be one of the heaviest, weighing in at about 1.3 million pounds. Because of those specs, this isn't the most popular or common choice for a luxury jet, but Prince Alawid bin Talal of Saudi Arabia doesn't care. He went ahead and bought one anyway for about $600 million back in 2007 at the Dubai Air Show. And despite owning such a large and expensive toy in true rich kid fashion, the prince never uses it. But that didn't stop him from going all out because his A380 is so tricked out that it's known as another one of his flying palaces. He added a car garage, a Turkish bath, and two decks of living and working spaces, with the top deck being VIP only, which will probably change depending on how the prince is feeling that day. Number 13, Boeing 747-8. The Boeing 747-8 was revealed to a standing ovation in 2011 and made its first flight that same year. Both a freighter and a passenger carrier, the passenger version of the 747-8 carries up to 467 people across three different class sections. While that may sound a bit cramped, the interior cabin is 20 feet across and 200 feet long, and the design offers much larger interior space with a curved architecture to give passengers a lot more room than they're used to. This was the first jet of its kind to be put to personal use and offers a pretty luxurious layout. The variant offers a full dining room, multiple large lounging areas, a personal office that can also be used as a conference room, a guest bedroom, and of course the master bedroom suite. All of this fits in there with plenty of space to spare across a whopping 4,700 square feet of space. It kind of puts all other private jets and even most houses to absolute shame. Once you get on board, you'd think you walked into a mansion. And of course, just because you're in an airplane doesn't mean you can't have more than one floor. The VIP version comes with two deck levels that can be accessed by either a staircase or a private elevator that fits up to four people. And it only costs $368 million. The sky really is the limit when you're on board this thing. Number 12. F-18 Hornet you wouldn't mess with a Hornet out in nature, so then why the hell would you mess with a jet fighter sharing its name? The F-18 Hornet is another fighter craft from the United States and is probably the Navy's best and most versatile multi-role fighter. The F-18 Hornet had its first flight in 1986 and it's been kicking rear ends into gear for almost 40 years since. There's no doubt that it's seen its fair share of wars and military conflicts around the world and it's served with a high level of distinction every time. It went to Libya in 1998 and played a heavy role in the Gulf War in 1991 and again in 2003. So if you could give a Medal of Honor to a fighter, there's no doubt that the F-18 Hornet would be the first in line. The United States isn't the only country falling in love with the F-18 Hornet every time they get in the cockpit. It's also become a mainstay aircraft of the Royal Australian Air Force and even the Spanish Air Force. It's got a bigger and more technically capable variant, the EF Super Hornet, which has the latest avionics, but it's the original Hornet that's a total mainstay. I never leave home without it, or the $94 million it costs to produce one. 
number 11, Chengdu J-20. Fittingly nicknamed the Mighty Dragon, the Chengdu J-20 is China's most advanced fighter jet to date and cost about $100 million. It's the second fifth-generation fighter jet to enter service in the world, which is impressive considering China's history of developing its own advanced fighter jets doesn't reach back very far yet. The J-20 employs the latest in stealth technology and houses an impressive weapons bay. Much of the information regarding the aircraft, though, has been kept a tight secret, but it's been reported that although it doesn't have an auto or rotary cannon, it does have space for both short- and long-range air-to-air missiles. The design of the aircraft allows for the missiles to be fired in the shortest amount of time possible, allowing it to avoid any radar detection. The Chengdu J-20 is one incredible military aircraft that you won't see coming. Number 10. Airbus ACJ320neo The European aerospace company Airbus is the largest airline manufacturer in the world, even surpassing Boeing in sales. And one of the country's more recent designs, the $110 million ACJ320neo, will have you flying in serious style and have the rest of our mouths watering as you fly overhead. Originally an Airbus model used for commercial flights, the aircraft has been completely gutted and renovated to look more like the inside of a fancy house than an airliner. You'll never have to worry about sitting in an aisle seat or watching a bad in-flight movie when you're in one of these. The cabin itself comes in at 90 by 12 feet and could normally seat 180 people, but the redesign thankfully fits just 19 and sleeps 17. Because of its wide body and frame and unique dome ceiling, the interior has about three times as much space as most aircraft, so it'll feel like you've got the plane to yourself on a cross-continental flight. Not to mention the plush leather furniture, beautiful hardwood flooring, and even original artwork throughout. Don't feel like looking outside at an endless sky for 10 hours? Then maybe take a tour of what sounds more like a museum than it does an airplane. Number 9. Bombardier's Global 7000 the fourth release from the brand, the Bombardier Global 7000 is an awesome luxury private jet that, if you can believe it, runs on the cheaper side at just $73 million. But don't let this dripping luxury fool you, because while this plane looks great, it also gets the job done just as well, making it the perfect choice for when you've got to get to a business meeting on the other side of the world. This Bombardier model is incredibly capable and flies long, non-stop distances like from Sydney to San Francisco or even New York to Dubai. And aside from being a $73 million workhorse, the Global 7000 looks great before you even walk inside. Instead of opting for your traditional stain-free cream color, the jet offers a wide range of white and burgundy shades so that it really stands out from the bright blue sky. This is another luxury jet that's fully customizable from top to bottom, so no two models should look the same, and manufacturers welcome personal touches for the right price. Each one of these planes holds enough space for 19 passengers with plenty of room to move freely about the cabin. Number 8. Dassault Rafale Developed by the French company Dassault, the $193 million Rafale is an impressive multi-role aircraft that can perform deep air support and help maintain air supremacy, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, and even nuclear deterrence. The aircraft was designed after France withdrew from the joint European fighter jet programs that led to the Eurofighter Typhoon due to disagreements with other countries, but they managed to cook up something even better. Since then, France replaced its older Mirage fighters with the higher-performance Rafale. This model has avionic features like its direct voice input, active electronically scanned array, and infrared search and track system that are specific to the Rafale and aren't found on any other aircraft. The Dassault Rafale has become so popular, in fact, that India, Qatar, Greece, and Egypt have all placed orders for the aircraft, with other countries quickly adding their name to the list as well. Number 7. Eurofighter Typhoon So when a big group of people all sit down and put their heads together, sometimes they can come up with something really special. And such is the case with the Eurofighter Typhoon. As the name may imply, the Eurofighter Typhoon was a joint effort between the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain. And although some aviation enthusiasts are a bit split over this fighter, it's probably one of the best in the world today. Say what you will about the Eurofighter Typhoon, but there's no denying that it's an incredibly capable multi-role fighter. It's incredibly fast and agile, making it a pretty tough opponent in a dogfight. The Eurofighter Typhoon first entered service in 2003 and didn't see combat until 2007 with the UK, but it's expected to remain in active service well into the 2030s. 
By that time, something bigger and badder will have to come around as part of the next generation of fighters. And a little bonus feature with this fighter is some of the enhanced avionics. The UK isn't known for its beautiful weather, so you need a fighter that can handle those foggy and often rainy conditions, which is why the Eurofighter Typhoon uses both the inertial navigation system and instrument landing system to help take off, fly, and land in bad weather, all for the price of $124 million per aircraft. Number 6. JF-17 Thunder While we may be living in the world of fifth-generation fighters, there are still plenty of fighter jets that have yet to leave the drawing board, so there are still plenty from the fourth generation worth their salt. And one of these awesome fourth-generation fighters is the JF-17 Thunder. Developed as a joint effort by Pakistan and China, the Thunder has become the top of the food chain in Pakistan's Air Force, replacing some of their now obsolete planes. And sure, the Thunder does the job as a multi-role vehicle, and is plenty reliable in that regard, but it's also a grade-A dogfighter. And while engineers are working on the next-gen fighters, there are those who are doing a pretty good job of making the Thunder keep up with the rest of them. As of January 2021, this jet fighter has a Series Block 3 avionics system with some of the most advanced features available, like a helmet-mounted display and new and improved radar. With a top speed of about Mach 1.6, the Thunder is roaring by, dropping all sorts of payload, like air-to-surface missiles and anti-ship missiles. But when you have an aircraft as high-tech, fast, and deadly as the JF-17 Thunder, then you can bet that it's going to cost a pretty penny. So what's the price tag of this aircraft? Try $184 million. Number 5. V-22 Osprey Tilt Rotor Part helicopter, part plane, all insane military aircraft, and $60 million to produce, the V-22 Osprey tilt rotor is the first production tilt rotor aircraft to take to the skies. This amazing military hybrid vehicle can land and take off vertically just like a helicopter, but when it's airborne it can transform into a turboprop aircraft that flies faster, farther, and at higher altitudes than any typical helicopter. This also makes it the perfect vehicle to get in and out of some pretty tight and contested areas, seeing as how it doesn't need the long runway a normal airplane would require. But the V-22 Osprey's biggest claim to fame these days is that it serves on the escort fleet for Marine One, which is the helicopter that carries the President of the United States. The V-22 Osprey is big, too, and it can carry up to 24 fully equipped troops, all armed and ready to go at the drop of a hat. It can climb to about 25,000 feet or 5 miles up, and hits a mean top speed of 350 miles per hour. But something that moves that quickly, carrying that much around, has to stop for refuels all the time then, right? Well, actually, this military vehicle is capable of refueling mid-air. It can even tuck in its rotors like tucking in a car's rear-view mirrors to make it more compact for storage. Number 4. Air Force One Air Force One was finally updated under the Obama administration after decades of falling behind with the times. The new and improved jet comes in at 200 feet long with a 5,000 square foot interior. Not only is it larger than an NBA basketball court, but it's the longest passenger plane in the world. Its state-of-the-art wings and engines give it 17% more power and allow the aircraft to take off and land at an incredibly short runway and reach speeds of Mach 1 just in case the POTUS needs to move quickly. It's one of the fastest passenger jet aircraft to date, and probably one of the most important planes in existence. It truly is a plane like no other, but revamping the Boeing was no easy task. To pull it off, it took about $1.4 billion and an enormous team of mechanics to completely gut the enormous interior. For the new and improved Air Force One, the design includes a more modern look. At the front of the aircraft is the presidential suite, which is only accessible by a very select few. It was given a southwestern design in the 1980s, but will receive one of its first major interior upgrades. The fold-out single beds in the presidential suite were swapped out for a queen-size bed and much larger TV and room for seating, giving the room a more welcoming and homey feel. If the president ever feels like he needs a day in bed to himself, as unlikely as that seems, this is the perfect room for it. The original planes also had a bare-bones medical bay, but it never consisted of anything more than a few seats. It looked more like a work office than it did a doctor's office. The redesign includes a hospital bed, medical-grade overhead lamps, and full sanitary station, and a heart monitor. It will be fully equipped for a potential surgery and even a fully stocked pharmacy. The president can rest assured knowing they'll all be getting the best medical attention they deserve, should the need arise. 
The conference room will also be updated, getting rid of the old landline telephones and replacing them with cellular phones and adding touchscreen monitors built into the desk, and also serve as the situation room. Past presidents have had problems getting important information to their teams on the ground using the out-of-date technology, but those problems will be a thing of the past. Everything is moving away from analog and catching up to the digital age, and all the power on board will be generated from the more eco-friendly and quieter engines, which use 16% less fuel than the original models. Number 3. F-22 Raptor Keeping up with the scary nicknames is another amazing fighter from the folks at Lockheed Martin, the F-22 Raptor, which cost about $334 million to build. Employed by the United States Air Force, the F-22 Raptor entered service in 2005 and at the time was unmatched by any aircraft. The Raptor proved its worth just two years after its first appearance when two were scrambled to intercept Russian bombers at the Elmendorf Air Force Base. It is a force to be reckoned with, and a mighty stealth fighter at that. The F-22 is specially designed to be incredibly difficult to detect and track by any radar under any circumstances, and its airframe shape and fixed geometry serpentine inlets and curved vanes prevent line of sight of the engine and turbines from any exterior view of the craft. The frame is also made of plenty of radar absorbent materials, and even the pilot's helmet provides a minimal radar return. This prehistoric predator has decreased radio emissions, infrared and acoustic signatures, and has all around reduced visibility to the naked eye. And there's the ability to mitigate heat-seeking surface-to-air and air-to-air -air missiles. So even if you do manage to see it, the F-22 Raptor can easily outsmart even the best equipment that money can buy. And even then, it can reach supersonic speeds, so it's not going to be seen unless it wants to be. And I promise you, it does not. Number 2. Northrop Grumman B-2A Spirit Better known as the Stealth Bomber, this heavy strategic bomber is another aircraft first designed by the United States during the Cold War, meant to deploy not just conventional weapons but thermonuclear weapons as well. That means it can carry up to 80 500-pound class-guided bombs or 16 2,400-pound B-83 nuclear bombs. But no matter what it's carrying, the B-2A Spirit is one of the most well-known military aircraft to date. Not only can it carry a heavy, lethal payload, but it also features low-observable stealth technology used for penetrating dense anti-aircraft defenses. And it's the only known aircraft that can carry large air-to-surface standoff weapons in a stealth configuration. You literally won't see it coming until it's too late. The aircraft comes in at a whopping 200 tons, and despite the weight, it's still a long-range striker capable of flying 6,000 nautical miles before refueling. And what may be even more incredible is the B-2A Spirit's price tag. To build the aircraft, including the onboard equipment, spare parts, and software, runs the United States Air Force a whopping $2.1 billion per aircraft. Number 1. Lightning II also known as the F-35, the Lightning II is an awesome multi-role fighter from none other than the team at Lockheed Martin under their Joint Strike Fighter program. The Lightning II is meant to replace the United States military's AV-8B, A-10, F-16, and F-A-18 warplanes, and is so popular that it was even exported to several foreign allies. So what exactly makes this jet so well-liked? Well, for starters, it's smaller than many of its predecessors with just one engine, meaning it's faster with better maneuverability, but can also exploit the latest stealth technology by reducing its radar cross-section, making the Lightning II incredibly hard to detect. The Lightning II performs just fine during air defense missions, as close air support, and during a tactical bombing. Plus, it's compatible with all the latest air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles, so it never misses a beat, or a target. The Lightning II comes with three variants, the F-35A, B, and C. And while they all may have some differences, they do have one thing in common. They all use the most powerful fighter engine ever developed, and enemy combatants have all had an incredibly tough time shooting down one of these $1.7 billion fighters down. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.